So I'm gonna do a bit of diagnostic on this uh, G-Wagon of mine here. Um, it's been sitting for about a month and uh, last I drove it, it uh, started misfiring. I took it out to dinner on my way home. It just randomly started uh, idling poorly and uh, misfiring. So I brought it home, scanned it quickly um, to see if it was maybe uh, an ignition coil or something and it was showing me multiple cylinder misfires so i figured it's probably not the ignition coil so anyway this was back in november and now we're in end of december i finally got some time to uh, to mess with it so i'm gonna get my uh, uh scan tool hooked onto it and do some diagnostics and uh see what we can come up with um i'm assuming it might have something to do with a fuel pump or um, I'm hoping it's not the injectors or the high pressure pumps because I think those are a major pain to get to. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get inside, fire it up and see what it does. All right, so I'm working on trying to figure out exactly why this thing's misfiring so bad. I scanned the codes again and I got multiple cylinder misfires. Um, I'm trying to find what tests I have. I think it's we've got something to do with the uh, with the fuel um, being an issue, whether it being in the the main fuel pump or the high pressure pump. I think there's there are two pumps that are involved. So I'm gonna do a couple tests here and see if I can come up with anything. This first one is um, a fuel pump test. So I think I've got to get this thing idling. So we'll fire it up. Um, like. I've, just now after I cleared the codes it idles okay um, but then it's gonna start misfiring again so we'll try to run this test here and I guess if we switch the fuel pump off then it's I'm assuming it should die Actuation of the component is followed by a long reaction time before the combustion engine is switched off. So I've switched the fuel pump off, so I don't know if it's supposed to die now or what it's supposed to do. So now I've got a blinking check engine light and the idle is dropping. turn the fuel pump back on and see if anything changes. Well, the, fuel, the check engine light's not blinking anymore, but I don't really know what this test is meant to accomplish, but let's see what codes we have that are back now. So see we have Cylinder one, cylinder four. Cylinder four says it's current. Cylinder one was, oh yeah, cylinder, cylinder one's also current. And so there's multiple misfires. I mean, it was also showing cylinder, cylinder two before. So chances of three coils being bad, I don't think that's possible. So this thing's idling pretty bad. So I'm trying to record the rail pressure to see if it's within spec or not. I don't really know what the spec is on it. Um, let's see it in PSI. So I was hoping it would show me what the demanded rail pressure is compared to actual rail pressure, but it doesn't give me that option for the demanded rail pressure, so I don't know if that's uh, how it's what it's supposed to be or not. Um, I'll try to do this fuel injector test to see if. Uh, 
just waiting for it to warm up. It wants it at 80 degrees. It's saying here, this one's saying 78. My cluster, it's saying it's at 88, which is a little weird. Um, but it's getting there, so I just need it to get to 80 so I can run this test here. But yeah, this thing's misfiring really bad. And I think if I scan the codes again, so I've got one, I've got four. And then I actually I checked for uh, for knock control. And um, there's this smooth operation of engine, which is a little weird. I don't know if this is an enrichment thing or what, but every cylinder is different. Like cylinder one and cylinder four are pluses the rest are minuses and it's it, it is showing the cylinder one and four the ones that are misfiring so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it um, but now the dash is saying it's at 90 so maybe this the computer will say it's at 80 now so it'll let me do that fuel injector test let's see yeah it's 81 so let's try it Okay, so let's go cylinder one, see what that does. So I'm able to switch the injector off and I guess see if the idle changes. When the actuation has started, the engine speed drops off briefly and the behavior at idling speed becomes not, not noticeably poorer. So let's... Pressing F3 to turn it off, nothing is really happening. So I might have a dead injector because it's still idling really bad. Let me try a different one. Let's try like number eight. Number eight's never given me any issues. So let's see if anything changes when I. Oh, yeah, number eight definitely makes a change. It starts idling worse. Okay. Let's try number four, see if anything happens there. No difference. Okay, let's try number seven. Yeah, number seven makes a difference. Number, f uh, number two was coming up before as a misfire in number two, but that could be related to number one, I guess. Yeah, number two is fine. Because it makes a difference when I shut it off. Let's try number three. Yeah, number three makes a difference. I wonder if maybe I just got some bad gas. That could be an you know, issue. Yeah. So it's one and four doesn't make any difference. So I guess it's running on like six cylinders right now. Yeah, when I shut off number one, nothing changes. Yeah, number five is noticeable. Number four, nothing changes. Number six, yeah, drops off. Okay, so I've got number one and number four doesn't make any difference. So I think my next step is gonna be, I need to check whether or not it's an electrical issue or if it's an actual injector issue. Um, so I'm gonna do some more research here and see, um, see if, if there's a way to test that without taking them out. I know, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a pain in the ass to change those injectors because they're the high pressure injectors. Um, but yeah, I wish I knew what the real pressure was supposed to be at compared to what it's, what it actually is. And that way I would have an idea of whether or not it's an injector thing or a fuel pump thing. 
so I'll need to do some more research and this is interesting too I noticed left cylinder bank uh, self adjustment at zero right bank is at six percent so I don't know if that is what it's supposed to be at but yeah so the only real thing I've discovered so far is that turning off injector one and injector four does not make a difference let's try it again number one off nothing no difference let's go number three off yes there's a difference back on yes number four a difference when I turn it off okay so um, I'll look into this some more and uh, see what I can come up with all right so I may have done something here I went to special function and then I uh, I reset the adaptation values I believe I went to teaching processes and then uh, uh, reset of mixture adaptation values. So I did that and and then I fired it back up and the check engine light was gone. So then I read the codes again um, and it was just the stored misfire codes. So um, I just reset them. So I'm, I fire it back up and now it idles fine, kind of rough, but not bad. I revs up okay and now when I go back to the actuation test um, go to fuel injectors uh, now if I go to cylinder one if I shut the number one off now it actually reacts so now the thing noticeably starts shaking again I turn it back on it smooths out Oh, now it's rough again. Or if I go to number four, shut it off, and it's rough. Turn it back on, smooth. Well, now that one they went out of it, now it's running kind of rough again. But let's scan the codes again. And see if anything came back. Oh, see, there's there is a misfire code, and it's a current code, but it doesn't say what's which cylinder anymore. So it's kind of strange. Still don't have a check engine light, but it's got a current misfire code. I mean, it could be because of me turning the cylinders off. Oh, now the check engine light's blinking again. So, resetting the mixture values um, definitely made a difference because, like I said, now without me... Like I mean, it actually makes a difference now when I turn the injector off. But it's kind of it's intermittent because right now the thing's idling rough again without me messing with it. And now the trick engine light's blinking again. So it seems like it's an intermittent fault. Um, Yeah, it's now it's one, four, two are misfiring. I may just, maybe I have bad gas because see now the check engine light stopped blinking again. It's really strange. It's very random. It just comes and goes. 
I'm gonna take it for a drive and see what it feels like. Yeah, so drive, driving it now and it feels fine. No check engine light blinking. It's accelerating smooth. It's an electrical issue if since it is intermittent or maybe the fuel pumps are on their way out and are working sometimes but I mean right now it seems to run okay I'm gonna get some fuel uh, injection cleaner um, and dump that in the tank see if that maybe helps maybe I've got some water in there who knows what it is um, but yeah I mean this thing like I said this thing was sitting for over a month last I drove it was back in back in November I took it out to dinner and then I was coming home and it started misfiring so then I just parked it and haven't had time to uh, to deal with it so now it's after Christmas it's uh, end of December um, the thing sat for about a month and right when I fired it back up it was doing the same thing again and now it seems to kind of come and go so I'm almost thinking maybe it's uh, there was some bad gas in the system or some water or who knows what and it's kind of working its way working its way through so um, yeah I'll take it around the block here and then maybe tomorrow I'll go to the parts store and uh, pick up some some good cleaner dump it in the tank and uh, drive it for a day and see see what it feels like it would be nice if it was that easy um, I was fully counting on having to replace the uh, the high pressure pumps um, or the in tank pump but I don't know, it's really strange. I'll keep you guys posted, but for now it's, uh, it's driving okay. All right, so I decided to take this thing out for a drive and uh, go down to the store and pick up some cleaner. Uh, on the way here, it started running rough again. Um, I haven't re-scanned the codes again, but I'm assuming it's probably the same misfire. So. I went into the store, got a couple of um, fuel system cleaners. Um, I didn't really know which one's best, so I got one of each of these. And then I got this water remover in case there is water in there. So I'll dump all three of these guys in and, uh, and drive it around some more and see what it does. All right, so this one's gonna be our first one here, severe fuel system cleaner. So let's uh, dump that guy in and uh, then we'll do the next one after. All right, so now we've got this STP Ultra Fuel System Cleaner, five in one. So dump that in. So I've got just over half a tank of fuel. Um, so hopefully these are concentrated enough to do a, a decent job cleaning it up. So there's that. These, I don't know what's in these, but they don't smell very good. All right, and the last one is we'll put this water remover in. All right, water remover going in. I don't know if I actually have any water in there, but hey, can't hurt, right? So let's uh, throw all these things away and uh, take this thing out for a drive again. All right, so fired this thing back up, check engine lights on. Seems to be idling a little rough. Well, we'll see. 
give this stuff some some time to get in the fuel system here and see what it does. So it's definitely not running on all all eight cylinders right now. It's vibrating pretty bad, running really rough. Um, check engine light was just blinking. It stopped blinking now. It's just solid again. But yeah, this thing's not happy right now. Um, what I might try to do is uh, try to do a mixture uh, adaptation reset again. See if that makes a difference. Because that seemed to be what made a difference last time. So, it might help again. But yeah, right now it's, it feels like it's running on seven or maybe even six cylinders. Because it's not smooth at all. I don't think I can hurt anything because I don't think it's a sticking fuel injector. I don't. I hope it's not sitting there dumping fuel in the combustion chamber. But um, if anything, the fuel injector might be clogged or not opening all the way. Or maybe, like I say, maybe it's it is an electrical issue and it's just uh, has a bad ground or something and it's intermittently not not doing what it's supposed to do. So I think what I'll do is I'll uh, pull over here, pull into this gas station quickly and just uh, do an adaptation reset again and see if that helps. All right, so I've reset the adaptation values and I also actually um, changed the fuel grade to low fuel grade to see if that makes a difference. And I actually found a place where you can shut off auto start stop too in the variant coding. So that's kind of useful. So now you see it, it doesn't show up for uh, like eco mode. Like if I press the eco button, no, this doesn't do anything. So that's cool. Anyway, let's uh, take this thing for a drive again. Let's see what it does see how if it runs any better or worse or I hope it gets better okay nice and smooth again it's weird every time I do an adaptation a mixture adaptation reset it uh, it goes back to normal and then after I drive it for a while it starts acting up again so that makes me think that I just have some bad gas in there so hopefully all this cleaner stuff that I dumped in does something and then maybe I'll put some new uh, fresh gas in there after I get this thing down to about a quarter tank or so so anyway I'm here I'm gonna pick up some food for dinner and uh, drive home see what it does oh look at that check engine lights blinking again so that's not fun so yeah we'll just keep driving it hopefully that cleaner starts working so I drove it back home now sitting here check engine lights on it's idling kind of rough but yeah, it's still not 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 a hundred percent. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'll maybe drive it around tomorrow when I'm running around during the day, and see what it does if it gets any better or worse. Um, and then I can kind of make a plan on what I'm gonna do next. So, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, it's not really in <laughs> that much. Uh, information in this video but I'm kind of just figuring it out as I go um, but hopefully I don't have to rip the uh, half the engine apart to replace the fuel injectors or the fuel pumps um, that's the hope anyway so we'll see what happens <laughs>